gaming. Keep it Google. Um, let's let's keep the Goog in the news. Um, mine is a Zeus has released their Chrome bit. Um, and if you remember back probably around the time of CES, we were talking, there were some some different devices that, that were coming out that were kind of pretty much like a HDMI thumbs, computer on a thumbstick. Um, yeah, and, and we were just like, what happened to this? Yeah, so, so the, the first one of the first ones that came out or one of the first ones announced out of CES was the Chrome bit. Um, it's an $85 dual core... 2 gig of RAM, 16 gig of storage space, um, Chrome OS device on a stick. So you got an open HDMI port on a computer monitor or your TV. Um, you can plug this in. <laughs> like, wait, wait, is, is this comparison uh, the size to a Snickers bar? Uh, about the same size of a Snickers bar, basically. It, it doesn't look as thick as the the, the Snickers bar. It's about no. the same length. I was say, what does Chrome act like when it doesn't have a Snickers bar? <laughs> But keep in mind, it doesn't need to. It, you do need to plug power into it, and it does have an option for using a full size USB port. Mm-hmm. Um, so the in the USB port, you can plug a hub into that. You can plug your mouse and keyboard, and more space, whatever, um, or you can pair up Bluetooth, uh, keyboard, and mouse. Uh, the the device is getting decent reviews around performance. They're not saying this isn't a replace for a a streaming type um device like a roku or an apple tv um they said you're not getting the the quality out of the netflix stream that you probably wouldn't a chrome tab Mm -hmm. um but it is good as just your basic uh browser window um i'm guessing games much like you're talking about that are that are low intensive um your typical chromebook type tasks right as well as um having the the Chrome OS library of applications. Right, right. There's a lot of there's a lot of kind of in browser games that are plain suitable for a lot of people mm-hmm. um, on 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 Chrome browsers and Chromebooks. So I don't know, it's a possibility. One of the cool things that I, I thought about using this for was I actually have started to use Chrome Remote Desktop on a lot of my machines at home. So I use Chrome Chrome's browser plugin as a remote desktop host, kind of like we used to. Team Studio replaced LogMan. Mm-hmm. Um, for a lot of people, Chrome has it that built in if you want to use it. Um, so you could pretty much take this anywhere, and if you can find an HDMI port, you could remote back into your house. Um, and I'm using that a lot at work, so I would think even at work I have an open HDMI port on the back of my monitor. So I could plug this in and kind of go to town with remoting back into my house, which would then, as long as it can screen scrape fast enough, I could do things like fire up iMovie or fire up anything that's running off the host Mm -hmm. because the only thing it's grabbing is screens, right? So if I needed to take a video, I could throw it up on Dropbox or throw it up somewhere, remote into home, do my editing, clipping stuff out, and then pull it back down. And all I have to carry around is this little HDMI stick. I'm good to go. I'm good to go. I like it. I like it.